so that lasted. Um, yeah. So I'm just wondering that before it, like I think when I think about it, I'll be just sitting there going, okay, well, <laughs> you know, is that just continuing? What I did was I that? purposely went to my bed, laid down, and just breathed very, very deeply and allowed myself to think about what it was that I was terrified of. And I just kept diaphragmatically breathing. Okay. And I would, and, and eventually there would be a lot of pain in my body start coming up because fear, uh, pain is, is caused by the, by the repulsion of fear. So, so, so you're there, you're feeling the propulsion of fear, repulsion of fear in that moment. And so there's a lot of pain in your body. So you have to tolerate, be able to learn to tolerate quite extreme amounts of pain sometimes. And, and I used to lay there like that every day. Um, there's very few days that I didn't do it for, for, for eight to nine months. Um, we were just laid like that for three or four. Now, I've, I had a lot of fear, of course, because I've been tortured three or four times and uh, my death was torture as well. So, um, you know, where you haven't had that, so, you know, obviously it will be shorter. Uh, if you're sincere about doing it, it'll be much shorter. Um, but the key is to lay there with you know, with that feeling and breathe, like, cre and create the environment to do it. Um, you know, what I see a lot of people doing is they create a very busy environment around them, which actually helps detune you from your fear, and and it's, so it's not creating a soul space to feel your fear. So my suggestion is to allow yourself to settle with the feeling. And, and for me, it was like lying on my bed, breathing deeply for, you know, like I said, four to five four to six hours sometimes a day. Um, what I used to do um, sometimes is I used to um, get up straight away in the morning, as soon as it was daybreak, six o'clock or whatever. I used to have something, usually some fruit, something light to eat. I'd, I'd go for a run <coughs> just to get my body moving and body functioning, a bike ride, run, or do some exercise of some kind for a half an hour or more, and just to get all the blood pumping and everything. Um, I'd come back, have a shower, and then I'd day on the bed, um, just breathing for for hours at a time. <laughs> yeah, and and what that did was it uh, helped me allow it allowed it allowed me to be more sensitive to my pain and the relationship between my pain and my fear. It also allowed me to feel the sensation of fear in my body and get used to feeling that sensation of fear. And eventually it got to the point where I had these quite large experiences which lasted, <coughs> again, four to six hours, but they were quite intense uh, experiences um, where my whole body would go into cramping and, and lock up and, and everything. And um, that would last usually anywhere from two to six hours. And a few times I passed out <laughs> and I lost consciousness. Um, during that phase, because I stopped, my my body would stop breathing as well, and 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 eventually, what would happen there is I, I'd stop breathing, and I'd stop breathing for long enough to pass out, um, and obviously your body eventually breathes as soon as you pass out, you start breathing again. But because I've had <coughs> moments and where I am locking up, and yeah, but then I freak out thinking. Is it spirits what's going or on? what's yeah, going yeah. on? And yeah, then most like, people will freak out then, you know. Because if I passed out, I'd be like, holy crap, you know. Yeah. No, it was a bit stressful the first time. After a while, I got used to it. But, And what I found after that was that I would sleep often for 24 hours once I started. So I'd, so I'd, so I'd have this fear. Well, I, the only thing I can describe it as is a fear fit sort of thing. Um, where I'd have a fear fit. Um, it lasts from anywhere from two to six hours. And in, in, at start, six hours, but it was like cramp for six hours. So it was pretty intense. And then I would, after that happened, I would uh, pass out generally. Um, and then I'd wake up, uh, well, well, the first time, 36 hours later. <laughs> mm. Second time was about um, 24 hours later. Uh, and then sort of reduced down until three months, three and a half months of that. And I probably was five minutes, five minutes, uh, where it'd just be intense for five minutes, so I wouldn't pass out. The very first few times I passed out, but after that I didn't pass out. Um, 
Uh, but I would sleep a lot afterwards, uh, and my body would feel really relaxed. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'd, I'd, wa I'd wake up going, "Oh, I feel so good." And it's like, <laughs> you know, you really notice it. Um, yeah, so so that's what happened to me. But but don't be too afraid because that, that's pretty intense, and I don't think there'd be too many people on earth who will have to go through that. But um, but but once you go through that, it was sort of like. Um, I'd go through that. You know, the first first few weeks was a bit intense, um, as you can imagine, and then it slowly lessened in time period and time frame. And if, after a month or so, that'd last an hour or or less. And then after a few months, that'd last you know 15 minutes. And then three months, it was five minutes. And then after three and a half months, I didn't have them anymore. Mm. And uh, and after I had that experience, which happened. Um, well, 17 or so years ago now. Um, I think it was about that, 17 years ago or so. And once I had that experience, um, my my feeling about fear was totally different after that. Like, totally different. I was not afraid of the same things I was afraid of anymore. Um, even if I was afraid, I never acted upon it. and never Never chose to do things in it. Never lived by it after that. Yeah, just completely different. Life was completely different. And I remember after that was when the very first time I remember waking up without dread. I used to, every day of my life until then, I used to wake up feeling dread. Like every day I'd be worried that something really bad was going to happen today. Yeah. And, uh, and after I dealt with my fear, that all had gone as well. So I woke up feeling happy and refreshed, um, not, not feeling like terrified and afraid and like something dreadful was going to occur. So is that then different to this global? No, that was what I was feeling. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. My mind was pretty big, obviously, because um, of the different events that have happened in my life and so forth. Um, but the average person on earth, you know, won't won't have it that intensely. I feel, and and in fact, probably have a just a small portion of that. Um, yeah. But it was a it was an intense experience, but. But after I'd gone through it, I knew I had to go through it before I began going through it. But after I went through it, it was like, I'm so happy I've gone through that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no. and, and everything after that changed quite significantly in my life, actually. Um, very significantly in my life, things changed after that. And that was before I even had any inkling to or desire to reconnect with God as well. So that happened without sort of God being present, if you like, in my life. So um, 